Hey everyone, it's Chubb, and welcome to Project M EX Remix. This is the, like, Director's Cut Edition, I guess? It was just released about two days ago. I've been really excited to play Project M on the channel, and I felt like this is the perfect way to do it. Because, look at all these characters! Oh my god, it's more than Ultimate. Like, holy crap. So obviously, I won't be able to play everyone in one video, because that'd be nuts. But, uh, at least give you a taste of what this mod is. Um, huge shout out to the team behind this, the PMEX Remix team. I'll have a link to their Discord in the game in the description. It's phenomenal. They also have a Twitter, I'll link that too. Uh, let's just start this. I'm just gonna look and see if anybody really catches my eye. Oh, he catches my eye. This dude right here. One of the most fun heavies to play in Ultimate. I wonder how he is here. So what kind of costumes does he have? Okay, just alts. Alright. I thought he'd have like a pirate head or something, but that's fine. That's a lot of stages. And they all have alts. See, if you hold a button while you select the stage, you get a special variant of it. So you know what? Let's do that. Let's hold start on FD. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the good stuff. Holy crap, that cannonball! These characters that were in Ultimate were supposedly backported to EX Remix, which is pretty insane. And they just recently brawlified the characters in this version of the game. So their colors are more muted and they're like a little bit or just tattered and old. That's a good thing because they kind of looked out of place before. <laughs> also, I've got no chance against this Falco. Couldn't even do my smash attack. Because he was able to shine out of it. Also, that was pretty insane. Dude, he's so heavy, his wave dash sucks. Oh, they even got the suck in the blunderbuss? That's fantastic. Oh, it's like a hold trigger. Interesting. So if you just hold it... Oh, there's still a cannonball. Maybe it just automatically does that at close range. Oh, <laughs> felt so good. And you can dodge out of his recovery. Oh, yeah, I already love this mod. Shut up, Falco. I just gotta stop using up smashing against Falco. He can just shine out of it. Okay, first impression. Mod is awesome. <laughs> They've got Wii Fit Trainer in here. Sandbag? What? Sands? <laughs> what? Is that Sub-Zero? <laughs> okay, I gotta pick this guy. Okay, why am I not affected by the silhouette? What is wrong with Sub-Zero? <laughs> oh, he's insane. Oh, he's got the little slide. Is that like a clone move? Yes, it is. Awesome. Haha! <laughs> Oh, I have a dive for my down air. I don't like that. <gasps> what the f***? Dude, sub is kind of crazy. Also, who the heck am I fighting? Kind of looks like the dude from a Toy Story. Buzz Lightyear's enemy. What was that? Oh, that's aerial side B. Okay. That down air is crazy. That's a little too much, I think. Just with the movement in PM, it's pretty much a free spike. Also, this guy's got a little Mac ass recovery. That makes total sense because he's an MK character. Okay, so my down special doubles as a counter? Oh shoot, I should be checking final smashes. Because I know that the Remix team adds final smashes. I bet sub zeros is insane. You would never hear a Smash character say die in a normal game. Only in mods. Well, that was freaking awesome. I understand that Fighters Pass 2 had a lot of fantastic characters, but there's still one that almost the entire community was clamoring for. The Waluigi! Finally! Wait, wait, wait. I gotta check out his costumes. Biker? Strikers? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We gotta pick that one. Is that Metal Face? What the heck? How is he a character? 
the whole Ridley problem. I think it'd be too big. I'm already liking this Waluigi. Like, this is kind of the Waluigi that... Holy crap, dude. Oh! Waluigi's definitely a weirdo character. For sure. There we go. What? I'm using him as a tennis ball? What the hell is that final smash? I was not expecting that. <laughs> Phantom Ganon? I gotta try this out. Holy sh- oh. Okay, this dude's got some nuts costumes. I gotta pick this one. What, they've got the stadium from um, the subspace intro? Mementos! Wait, what? Pack maze? Oh boy. Oh my god. Uh, I gotta pick Pack maze. Dude, one of my favorite stages from 3DS, and it looks so good. Uh, I killed him from one move. <laughs> Phantom Ganon already busted. Also, I swear I set the Smash Ball frequency to low. <gasps> what? And then I can act out of it? That's crazy. So I do like 50 damage, or wait, did I even hit him? Was that just straight up 70 damage? Either way, I stun him, I do a crap ton of damage, and I'm able to act out long enough that I can do a smash attack. That's wild. And that looked like it covered the entire stage. Also, Ganon's wave dashing is really freaking cool. See, like, we already have another smash ball, and we're barely a minute into the match. Oh! Fair trade. Fair trade. <laughs> okay, I like Phantom Cannon. He's sick. So far, every character I've tried has been awesome. Like, I can tell that this dev team really focuses on quality, even with the absolutely ginormous quantity of characters. Like, none of them feel half-baked. They're all really perfectly integrated into the game. Is that Banjo and Kazooie? Okay, I gotta try this out. The costumes look like they are ripped straight from Ultimate. Also, this is the only character lag in my system. What is that? Tetris. Uh, I'm picking this. Oh my god, so we're just fighting in the middle of a Tetris thing? And to kill us immediately if they land on us? That's insane. What? I turn into a dinosaur? Banjo's wave dash is kind of crazy. You're screwed. Oh, the line clear. Wow. Okay, you suck. That was a really dumb match. Sandbag, my boy. This dude's like my, um... Pretty sure it's my SSF2 main. Just the one I gravitate toward most. I'm choosing Black Sandbag. Now I wonder if they added the walls thing or if they made the Hazards Off version specifically. Okay, already Sandbag's a little insane. That was crazy. Good job, Sandbag. Uh, wow! Okay, he's so much better in this game than SSF2. <laughs> I already love this mod. Rob hasn't changed. I'm pretty sure. I mean, he's Rob. What can you do with him? Oh, he's got a new Wii costume. That looks pretty sick. Um, I wanted to check out Blood Falcon. Captain Falcon's still in the game, but they finally got this dude, and I think he's a little different. Let's go to the classic, the temple. Just figure out what exactly is wrong with him. Already, he kind of feels like Falcon. He's got the speed, but he's got a sex kick for the neutral air. Okay. And he's got a leg sweep instead of knee. Okay, my side B looks about the same. 
I still have a Falcon Punch, good to know. Okay, what else would I have expected? He's just got Captain Falcon's final smash, but with a different car. Alright, sticking with the classics, I see you. So really, these two aren't that different. There's a couple of changes, like the sex kick and the leg sweep. They're different enough. That's at least more than most of the Echo Fighters in Ultimate. Holy sh**, Ness. That was sick. Do I have a show me your moves? Oh my god, I have a show me your moves. It's fantastic. Oh, Ness. Really? Yeah, I know I didn't get to all the characters, but I'll definitely be playing this again on the channel. Just exploring and seeing all the new stages. This mod is awesome. Huge kudos to the team for making this. And um, check everything I put in the description. This is absolutely awesome. One of the best Project M mods I've ever played. Well, that's going to be it for me for now. Uh, I'll see you later. See ya. Yo, 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 yo.